So you've either got lucky, planned well, or sold your soul to Mahoyo, and now have a brand spanking new Hu Tao and need to know how to use her. She's been the most leaked and anticipated character in Genshin Impact's history, and after just a few more minutes, you'll know everything about her that's relevant. Just not where she buries the bodies. Uh, so grab your nuts and let's get what we need. Which is a lot, by the way. First things first, embrace your inner sweet side and traverse Wangshu in an upper Liyue harbour for silk flowers. Hu Tao eats these to grow strong. Uh -uh. Then see this guy? It's time for Hu Tao to dig up a new grave. And another one. And another one. In fact, we're going to need a whole ton of them. This ghost is actually a summation of all the Geoshu apps you've killed. As well as all of these flowers that you needed to gather as well. You may have already culled every whopper flower on Teyvat, but... What about second? Culling? It's time. And you know, when you're in charge of corpses, well away Chi Chi, due diligence is essential. So naturally, you'll need to give Hu Tao some appropriate reading material. Both philosophies and a mountain of wit. Ooh. And well, funerals don't come cheap, so you better bring some more if you want to get that little nut to crack open some corpses. The best weapon is far and away the Staff of Homer. It synergizes with her entire kit incredibly well, but if you have my luck... That's not a Staff of Homer. Second place goes to the Primordial Jade Spear. If you can find a Xiao to steal it off, that'll be great. The next best option is actually to give her $15. Uh, I, I mean, use Deathmatch from the Battle Pass. Beyond that, Dragon Spain is great if you have a Hydra support. Blackcliff Polearm is the best free to play option from the shop. And the White Tassel at Freestar isn't even that bad thanks to the way her scaling of HP works. For artifacts, a four piece Crimson set is the best bet by far for most situations. Hu Tao's damage actually scales off HP, so you want HP, pyro damage, and critical hit slash critical damage artifacts respectively, while aiming for critical and HP substats. But the early game, a Bazorka's 4P set will be the perfect choice, oh, yeah. as Hu Tao can consistently apply its passive with a literal button press. And speaking of that, it really plays into her gameplay. She needs those hit points as, like her pole arm predecessor Zhao, she's prone to accidentally on purpose hurt herself consistently. Her elemental skill costs 30% of your current HP, so while it'll never kill you, even on 1 HP, it can place you painfully close. You get 9 seconds of unmitigated fighting power, changing all your attacks to pyro and applying extra damage. In addition, your charge attacks will on hit apply a pretty butterfly of death to your enemies. These little butterflies last for 8 seconds and the skill lasts for 9, so as soon as you click your elemental skill, try to charge attack as many enemies as possible so that you can deal maximum damage. This skill lasts for 9 seconds and then it's another 7 seconds before the skill is up again, leaving Hu Tao a bit of a sitting duck with her damage heavily neutered. Get out of this! You want to make sure that your party can pick up the slack for those 7 seconds, with cooldowns that coincide with hers to make best use of this window. What's more, leaving this state naturally, or via switching out, increases the other party member's critical hit rate by 12% each for 8 seconds, which is a massive boost, letting Hu Tao support her party member's damage well. Her elemental burst quickly deals damage around you and recovers your HP for each enemy hit. What's more, if you're below 50% HP when an enemy is hit, both the healing and damage are increased substantially. This does make Hu Tao able to self-sustain without a healer where there are plenty of enemies, but note its bonus only applies per hit, so one this is one, it won't be giving you the heal that you need. It's worth waiting for a few enemies to surround you before using your skill. Hu Tao's gameplay literally encourages you to sit on the edge of death for maximum ultimate damage, but remember that dying is the largest DPS loss you can take. Her talents further encourage this, with all pyro damage being increased by 33% when you're under 50% health, meaning you'll always want Hu Tao to be dangerously close to dying. It's almost like she wants to be her own client. Thankfully, given that she rewards you for building HP, this can mean you're only on a little less actual HP than other characters. Beyond that, Hu Tao has a neat little trick that dashing means that you can pass through enemies, which is incredibly useful for anything with a shield you just can't be bothered to wait for. You can sip around through them with ease. No oh, and if she cooks for you, don't ask what's in the food, but at least it's free. Leo talents try to keep both normal attacks and guide to the afterlife about even, and then spirit suit that can sit at rank 6 until you've maxed both of those out as far as you want to. Her constellations exist. My wallet does not know what they do, but I hear the 6th constellation makes you invulnerable to death basically, which is one of the most unique talents in the game. If you fancy shredding your credit card, it'll be sure to have a big effect. 
And finally, you can't forget that as Pyo, she has access to the best elemental reactions in the game. So taking a Hydro user such as Xing Xiao or an Ice pairing will allow for massive reaction damage. Poor Electro, Kaching will have her day one day. But beyond that, whatever works. Just bear in mind she does not synergize well with Bennett, as he can bring you up to 70% HP before you gain his damage buff. Talk about Ooh. unlucky. <laughs> Healers in general can risk accidentally boosting you with 50% health, so Hu Tao much prefers to make friends with shield users, however you have. And there she is! Go forth, throw a Chi Chi into a pit and destroy your enemies. Share this video with a friend if you enjoyed, or subscribe if you want to see more. And of course, best of luck in your next pull.